All right, and we are back. Hard Master 3.5, the wonderful hard setting. Unlike last night's game, we are not drinking our way through it. Ah. So like we can't temp 50-54 like I normally do. Oh, you can. All right, we can. You're right. We can. So if New Belgium Brewery are, if you are listening, this you could sponsor this as well. Um, so here you are in the rustic village of Tobolt and have looked around town and have located a cave that is in the woods and you're, you have suspicions or concerns perhaps that the children that are missing have strayed into this cave somehow found the same themselves in there. And you are, right now, um, you are, you're, you're aware that all of you are gathered where that, that red triangle is. Um, you know, you're standing back, there's a bit of an open clearing around the cave, <laughs> just a little light brush. <laughs> Before you found the cave, it, it, it had an eerie, kind of moaning, whistling sound as the wind blew across it. I think Bridget picked up on that and, and kind of led you to walk in this direction, along with some scattered footsteps here and there. But you know, they were they were days old, and they, they have to be a pretty sheltered spot for them to last underneath the fairly consistent precipitation that hits <clears throat> most of Harn all year round. Let's be honest. So you're you're gathered in front of this this cave. It's it is set up a little bit from the from the ground level that you're standing on. Um, it's um, not not really high up, but it's about eight feet vertical above the ground. Uh, and by cave, I mean that's it's more like a, a crack. Or a crevice. It's about maybe three to four feet wide, and how tall it is, hard to say, but probably a similar amount of tall. You'd be crouching. Yeah. How, about, how what does my parents had liquor? Not laying around, but no. That was common. Oh, what do we need to get to do to get up to it? Probably depends on who you are. Yeah. Uh, without horse and in armor? It'll be challenging. All right. I will challenge myself. What's your climbing score? <laughs> well, I'm model check, one. <laughs> I'm going to check mine. Oh, yeah, you know. I'm all right. I, I used to climb trees when I was young. <laughs> well, your, your encumbrance penalty will come into play on that. So just remember that. So look at, when you're looking at your character sheet and bringing up your, your combat profile, you're going to look at your physical penalty and apply that multiplied by five. So in Bridget's case, she's, she's carrying right now 35 pounds. Her physical penalty is two, so that's only minus 10. That's not a big deal. So just be sure that you count that against any climb attempts. Can I just try it right now? Uh, sure, sure. It's not that much. Yeah, I'm I'm a I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go up there. All right. Fifty two. Nice and roll. You rolled it. Uh, uh, you have a match level fifty two, penalty minus ten. Uh, yeah, I think it auto calculates the penalty. I think it auto calculates the penalty. If it's on the sheet already for your encumbrance, I think. It's oh, see where it says penalty ten. Oh, I did yeah. that. So even, even with but that, I still did good. You still did good. So you would have had eight, I think, otherwise. Um, so yeah, you can climb up there. It's, I mean, it's a little bit of a go. It's I mean, it's not that high up. It's just and it's not completely vertical, but pretty close. So she she goes up there, and you can probably um, what is what is weight? I was just trying to get easy. Trying to get, 
Try not to be done. Obviously, I screwed that up. I was gonna lend my that hand down. That was the improvement roll. That was the climbing roll. Oh. <laughs> You're practicing climbing in the distance, and I'm like, "What are you doing, dude? We have stuff to do." Yeah, Bruno is working on up there. So uh, you can, you can, you can like lean down and maybe like lend a hand up and, and pull Yeah, that's what down, I want to do. Like that, you know, up like a champ. That's right. Just comes up oh, there. Thank you. All right, so you're you're on this little. Frankly, it's very difficult for you to have too much of a hand because there's not much space up there. So you almost have to lie on your belly to get somebody up there, and they have to almost crawl across you. I'm gonna move you to a different screen. Where's 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 the place that your characters roll at at one time that you're at? Uh, in front of the stables was the last place. Talking to my dad. Yeah. Hopefully we're all there. Danny and Bridges come to the scene. Yep. I don't remember. You're all you're all at Xanoff with some experts too. You got a few maps kicking around where you guys were doing some fun at some point. There, there you guys are. So just don't grab all the henchmen. Uh, what do you guys? Uh, is Muley with you, or is he staying? The only two is at Sir Mailed's place. He's not the original. But he'll die just like the rest. Stop. He's not. He's just as tasty. No. <laughs> All right. I don't see Searson. There's Sir. I'm missing somebody. I'm missing someone. Haffin's camouflage. I got Haffin. I got Zerson. I got Bridget. Is that all? And Serene? Serene. That's it, right? Yep. Okay. That's the group. Perfect. Our priest is not present at the moment. <laughs> yeah, he's just going to hang out outside the cave. Uh, the guard mule. Mm -mm. As long as he doesn't cast these snake spells, we're in good shape. Right. It still has not recovered from that. Mentally. Piety wise too. <laughs> Piety especially. Oh yeah, he did burn a ton, didn't he? Okay. <laughs> did someone create a stone of light? I it happened. Or Zerson did. Uh, Zerson did. I was uh, punished. This map I made. <laughs> you were punished. You burned his hand. I thought you were going to burn your glove to your skin, but apparently it wasn't that bad. That was a well, great idea, though. You should, be, you, should be, you should be a GM. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not that mean. As <laughs> uh, she gives the cackle. Check out a light source inside. Four hours duration for the light source. Um, light and heat equivalent to a small fire. Caster can diminish the light or heat on command. The light is the quality of sunlight and can grow shade tolerant plants. Naturally, as I'm holding it, it will not be emitting heat. All right. So, Bridget, you are uh, right now. It's it, it is a, a narrow opening. Um, you are on your belly. And if you're, that's how you're, you're reaching down, because you can't stand where, where the cave is. So you, you, you reach, lying on your belly, you put an arm down, and you help haul Serene up. And Serene, you have to basically crawl across the back of Bridget, if you choose to do so. Using kind words like, pardon the lady, or the like. And, but that's, that's the only way that you can get past, get past where she's at. Okay. And it gets dark very fast as you can see. Yes. A little bit of ambient light coming in, penetrating about 10 or 15 feet until it is this narrow, dark cave. I get to about here. Here, so here other people um, can dripping forward. water. Um, you hear some sounds of moving air. There, there, there is airflow coming out towards you, so seems like there might be other entrances that are 
like, like, like a cavern. All, all I can say is that there's airflow, and you hear you, Serene, can hear dripping water and and the sound of moving air and the feel of moving air on your face. Well, there's definitely an opening for it here. Where's the light? It's kind of dark. Who's up next? I guess I'll climb up. All right. So the line of the, the cliff line is right there. Uh, are you going to give? Serious in a hand? I suppose. She begrudgingly gives you a hand. So, yeah, you could get a, 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 ten, a plus 10 bonus on your climb up. You're going to do an obituary, he's not going to die. The damage, the damage will only occur for a critical point. Roll to one. Roll to hmm. one. Easily done. Um, again, you crawl across her back and her next stream. Half and you were next. I'll give him a hand. Well, I am all right. <laughs> He's like, nope, don't need your help. <laughs> no, no, I, thank you, thank you, but go ahead. <laughs> it's, I can stand on the ledge and, and you can go crawl in and I'll. Yeah, I'm tired of being walked over. Once you go a little oh, distance in, straight, once you go just a smudge of distance straight, but it, it comes up to about maybe six feet. But it, it is you, you have to duck a lot because there's there's stalactites and the floor is is uneven as well with. Flag mites and rubble on the floor. So the maximum height of the room is about six feet, which you can probably clear, but it is it, it is not consistently six feet tall. It, it is an uneven ceiling. Oh, uh, is May gonna say? Uh, you bob, you know, adjust for the height and move in a little bit more so people can get in. You do know that if you got you had to fight in here, it'd be awkward. And so, yes, I'd be thrusting instead of swinging. Probably so. Yeah, I would. I'd probably give you a penalty on the swing aspect, but a thrust aspect, I'd give you. I, I would not penalize you. It's good the Harn has that kind of stuff modeled. So you can say, well, thrusting's awkward. Uh, swing is awkward, but I'll thrust instead. Okay, you guys are all up. Everyone's up. Let's. Where's? Can we? You know, have the light second. That would be awesome. Yep, I'll be behind you. Right. Unless I'm able to hold it, but um, I might. Are there signs of someone having walked? I'm probably walking all over the signs, so I'm going to stop for a second. Are there signs of someone having walked or traversed this? Since it would not have been rained on. Me <laughs> no. Um, Is there? Yeah. Could open it at uh, opening mastery level. Dang, Thurston failed. Critical fail. Critical fail. Oh, nothing here. I, I don't know him opening it. My tracks. Better than me. <laughs> hey, Millie's been up here. Something. We were joking last night that half of us had fantastic tracking skills, very rarely made to make one. Uh, if you're able to make one, uh, yeah. do you want? <laughs> do you, if you want to open your tracking skill, it is I and smell. Probably not going to be very good at it. Let's just be honest. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to open it in here. Okay. Um, Zerson's looking around, and you only see Aiden's footprints, Zerson. So I'm going to trust yeah, Zerson to do a great job. You completely mistake them, Zerson. You're like, oh my god, there's, there's, it's like there's a knight going through here. He's got big stomping boots. And oh my goodness. <laughs> I, say, I actually do say that. I start describing Sir Aiden's footprints to Sir Aiden, not quite realizing <laughs> as I'm saying it that it's Sir Aiden. Like, it's not yeah, a joke. It's like dead man's serious. There are men here. Be very careful, sir. And I think these are fairly new also. <laughs> Look at my foot. Look at him again. Take my head. That's, that's why we usually go in front. Bridget's like, Zerson, please stop talking. <laughs> a tear rolls down Zerson's uh, eye. You're wandering in the dark now. Let's see if someone comes in. 
Uh, you do sense that there's a larger chamber up ahead. Thank goodness. He hasn't asked yet. Starting but to get claustrophobic. Me, I know, right? Let me take a look at the tracks once we get into the open space. All right. So there was the, this is probably a pillar. Something to the side, too, guys. Did you, did you catch that? There's a passage to the it, side. I'll go. Or no, I won't go. We shouldn't split unless we have more light. Let's split up right now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, I'm staying with the light. I'll move into the chamber first to give some light. Notably within the chamber. Um, you can both up in front make a survival check. God. Like all of us? Um, the, the two that first came in. Uh, uh, I think it was... Is this, you don't mean tracking, you mean survival. Yeah, survival Ooh. first. I think it was Aiden and Zerson were the first Survival. Growing, dancing, fishing. I don't, I don't have it. What? No, you have to have it. It's in craft, it craft lore skills. Craft lore right, skills. I have horsecraft, law, fishing, and heraldry. You don't have a survival? <laughs> Alchemy, folklore, lockcraft, mathematics, oh, anyway, so, right. I, I, You could at least open it, so. Um, okay. <laughs> we do that a lot for Zerson. <laughs> Look so, at this, Zerson. Here's the thing. <laughs> the, uh, the oh, wow. Half in the room is, um, it, it smells faintly of like. It's really you really turn into a production, huh? The ground is spattered with um, white and other colors of guano. guano. Okay, time to leave. <laughs> However, the ceiling is mostly, it's uh, still slight heights and slight heights, but it, it arcs up to about 14 foot something. Is it moving? Yeah, with the massive bats on top. Uh, yes, it is. It is swarming with bats that are not. Um, they're not super active right now, but they are. The ceiling is is moving with a number of um, well, a multitude, thousands perhaps, of little bats that are clinging to the ceiling. Well, let's assess why we're in here before we go any further. Well, oh. <laughs> speak about our bad decisions. Yeah, like we're here to find some kids. Let's see if there's any evidence of kids, and if there's no kids, we're gonna leave. You need to see the back one out. Kids mm -hmm. are grossed out by the back one. Let me track. Let me look around here. Cool. I'll just hold still for a minute. Let me see if there's a kid tracked in. Yeah. It's just full of. Big dangerous knights. Knights one around the yes. Jeez. I am a big dangerous knight. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there you go. This is what a bat cave looks like. <clears throat> the bat cave. Um, so Ooh. tracking. That, that, there is a set of tracks that's been muddled at this point. <laughs> but, Crack in the wall over that way. However, for marginal success, mm -hmm. um, you see, you see, there are tracks. I'm not going to give like huge amounts of detail, but there's there are tracks that lead from there. They're probably angling more like towards eight or something like that. Um, there are tracks made by humans, you know, people with shoes. Um, Target eighty or nineteen. Well, you're in the first. There's there's kid tracks and there may be a uh, larger set of tracks. Um, they they do pretty. I you mean, know, the, the guano is a pretty good surface to, to track from. There's a fair amount of traffic on the split that way, going going along that line that I've already described. Um. Well. I'll just That's quietly right. point that way. Okay. And maybe point, point at the that? tracks and say, that, that way. I don't want to disturb the bats. Please don't. Right, so, 
Ms. Raven, you, um, you're coming to another kind of pinched off area. Yeah. And it is, um, it is narrow and, and low right where we're at right now. So a little crawling. Yeah, I mean, um, arm first. It's not. Um, it's just. It's just low. It's a low. It's a low space. So it's like four feet tall. Yeah, there's like a large boulder above, and you got to kind of go underneath it to get to the other side. Yeah, it's like a like a chalk stone. It would have been hard to notice, but for the tracks being noticed. That people be going that way. All right, well. And there's. Uh, it looks like the floor, is, the floor is pretty. You're, you're in a more of a chamber now. The, the ceiling goes back up to ten feet. And there's another kind of modest climb coming coming at you. Um, I'm sorry, it's not a climb, it's a descent. So, so it's another narrow space, like three feet tall. This is quite low, you're almost on your hands and knees doing it. Um, you're, it's quite tight. And there's, there looks to be a, um, you really can't see it. So you're, you're pretty much hands and knees, kind of, with, and blocking most of the light behind you. You're kind of just groping along through the darkness. And I, just go ahead, grope along through the darkness. And I'm going to have you make an awareness check at some point. I'll hang back to represent it. <laughs> hang back to represent groping along the darkness. Well, no, but his lack of vision. Okay. But I am immediately behind him for practice. So as you go along, make an awareness check for us, right? Uh, and what kind of head headgear stuff are you wearing? Let's see some uh, I would I'd have the cane, nice face, skull. I would have the uh, uh, quilt in the mail on the head. Gotcha. Uh, awareness. I'm not aware of anything. We're not aware of anything. So <laughs> you, you're crawling along. Wait, where did everyone go? You, you, and you realize that as you're going along, the, there's not a lot of light. And um, he knocks himself out on the ceiling. <laughs> We're going to have a hard time, time dragging himself out of here. That's <laughs> my teacher. Basically, you, you don't notice it as the as you just can't you can't see very well. It's it's claustrophobic. It's dark. And you, you start to keep crawling forward, and you just are unaware that you are crawling into, you're crawling off a cliff, essentially. Oh, awesome. And there's a, you have a moment of just, well, fright, right, as you, um, as you tumble down um, about eight feet. Going down. Kind of land up against a, a, a column that went between the that had this form where slagmite is, is reaching stalactite. Um, I'm gonna make a like a random hit location to see see what what takes the brunt of the fall. So I dump on my shield and slide down. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. So you guys just hear a just hear a a, a sound of ah, and then just it's tumbling. Fall as he lands on his shoulder. Aww. So what? What armor do you have on your shoulder? It's uh, probably got Watch out for that <clears throat> first ball. Shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. I have the mail and the quilt on. All right, you. It, it, it soaks up the brunt of it. Um, does this falling damage automatically absorbed by armor? Or is there something that gets through? Do you have any input on that? I think it's just blunt like anything else. Yeah. I've never had it especially treated. 
Uh, five and blunt. I mean, it's, it is, it's a little sore, but not enough yeah. to cause a lot of I'll have a bruise damage. there, but I won't have a cut in the wound. Yeah, you won't have a, a minor bruise in that, not even one that you have to pay attention to. But you, you, are, you are on the floor, and you're already on the floor falling anyway, but you kind of turn around, and you can see the light now. Um, you can see the light from Zerson above you about eight feet. I will uh, call back, watch out for the drop. Something. And this room Purse, is pretty maybe. big. Uh, although you really you sense it more than anything. I don't see buckets. You don't see buckets, but you can feel that there's space around you. And this room is just feels a lot larger. Um, Did anyone have any rope? <laughs> yeah, I normally pack some. Whether Maybe. I left it on Muley is a good question. I don't think you did. I think I distinctly you remember bringing it into the cave. You were yeah, like, if we were hey going guys, into a cave, it's, gonna... it's likely that I brought it away. Yeah, because you always have your rope on you, right, guys? <laughs> so it's it's really dark in this. Area that I've fallen into. <laughs> well, I don't think we should all jump down there. No, but it, how about someone? Well, I guess the lights. The light. the problem. And we're gonna need more light. <laughs> so I hold the, the light. I, having light, do I notice the drop more easily? Yes, uh, especially with him alerting it to you. Yeah. You can see that there's a there's a drop right there. Like he was kind of limited what he could experience by. By just groping his way along in the dark, uh, it's about eight feet down. Okay. And it's not a, it's not a, uh, it's not a vertical drop. Um, I mean, I, you can likely scramble down. It's just if you don't see it coming, you're going to fall down. You know what I'm saying? Is that that kind of? Yeah. Thing. I could get back you know, up. Like it's not that bad. Just walk downstairs, but if you don't know the stairs there, you're going to fall down the stairs. So. Okay, so you can climb back up. <laughs> yeah, climbing climbing up and down is not really hard if you're. If you're aware that it's there. Okay. Well, then we think we're good to progress. I rolled a two d six for damage, just so you guys are. I'm not sure if you saw that, but that was the, that's what I rolled. I did. Are you going down, Zerson? Yes, I'll crawl. I will carefully because of the dead. Oh wow! Water. This place opens up big. I will I mean, stay here and let him search for tracks. You can make a climb check going down, just to make a critical failure. That's going to violate the bar. Oh, of so we have to make okay. That. Yeah, make a climb check. I know, right? I, I don't know what's going to happen. There you go. Well, there you critical go. failure, 65. Come on. Please. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I slowly helped half him down, so he should re-roll with a modifier. That was, that was your son as well. Oh. oh as Zierson falls terribly, she helps happen. <laughs> I don't want that to happen to you, too. Uh, so what happens to me? Um, I show you the rope and you trip. <laughs> <laughs> Loops around my neck. <laughs> Snap. Oh my god, stop. Uh, seven, po oh, seven points can be a pretty nasty wound. So yeah, I don't have as much armor. You don't, yeah, this gets blunt too. Yeah, do I land on my hip or groin? That's <laughs> ideal. <laughs> Maybe three. Um, I don't know how you land on your calf, but you awesome. Most armor versus blunt is calf. <laughs> uh, three points. So basically, you slide down. You think it's going to be okay until you kind of spin into this. This is the lag light right here, and it, it that's where it catches you. It just hits you. It like barks you really hard in the shin. Mm -mm. All right, so that will still be four to my calf. Four. Okay, so four to the calf. It's a M, it's an M one injury to the calf. So it barks your shin really good. 
Like it is like this super nasty bruise that you're going to be kind of lipping on a little bit. So M- M1 injury to the calf. You, you, the ride was all right until you hit the until you hit the big column of stone. M levels. I've one. seen a guy do that box jumping in a like CrossFit type class. Yeah, it's, it's completely. <laughs> I can completely visualize what happened there. Uh, hopefully, yeah. described it well enough. Yeah, it was. Mm-hmm. But literally, my most armored point on my body is my calf. Well, good. I'm glad it worked out for you. <laughs> we need to have a conversation about that. <laughs> but anyway. Well, I mean, he. Uh, there's a physical penalty that goes to Spellcasty, so I mean, he's trying to keep it, trying to keep it light. Yeah, that's true too. And he's yeah. got, he's got. I got a spell for that. If you guys can improve armor. You should be starting with your own. Oh, I cannot improve cloth. It's a leap. <laughs> or, I'm know. wearing clothing. I don't actually wear armor. I'm looking around. Well, where, where you just were. You see some some runes carved into the wall just there. Oh, God. <sighs> or Oak Nope, Ellen. nope, nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, bring the light over here. Let's, let's see what this is. Oh, by the way, I marginally failed. That's fine. I mean, it's... You, okay. um... Impaled me on the stone, I cannot move. Not pretty, but you come down so far. <laughs> uh, move me into the square. I'm currently impaled in the stone, so I can't control my uh, character. There you are. So, um, half of you, you and the scholar, come up to the runes. They're they're in um they they literally are runes. They're in run, a runic script. No. Hmm. That one says beware. Well, no, I'll be able to identify the letters fairly easily, but. No, I'll look at it, but I very much doubt that you guys know this. Wait, wait, I think it says beware large knight with big feet. <laughs> I, I have Orbelis and Ivinian, which would be some runes, but if it's Kuzdol, I don't have it. I have some Baron. Sindar used a different script. Oh, no, I don't have that. Because I have runic a script, runic, but that's it the is language runic itself. letters, but you, the words are probably Kuzi. Okay. It's kind of surprising what happened, but, but I think I have a spell for this. Let me check. Oh. Hmm. I don't know if it works on script. Well, if I brought a rope, did I bring a... Kit? Well, we'll worry about it later. No, it does not work. Maybe. Well, it's not going to tell us anything about the kids. Fine. I will, however, track. write down the runes because it may be important in the future. True. Yep. All right. Well, while he's writing them down, I'll I'll look around in the dark for. I, I can contract. hand you this one while I do that. Right. Actually, no, uh, I can't because I need to light the scene. Go to where you want to look, and I can try to describe what the scene is. Um, I guess I'm I'm just gonna kind of do a, a well wherever I can spare the light. So I look over here, and then there's, over here. There's a large amount of rubble that you see in that direction. We don't see because you don't have a lot of light. So. No, we don't. I guess I'm just looking for muddy guano tracks or mud tracks for the kids okay. of where we're at to just try to get a direction if they come down the, the slide. The, the the stones that you can see from here look like they are not entirely natural. Like they are, they're sort of moved around and um, like stacked in cairns. 
not quite cairns, but okay. Like they were they were moved out of the way at some point, uh, cleared somewhat. Uh, some of the stones. Well, until Zerson gets closer, I'm not going to stare with my details. Um, they look. Um, some of them work. Look like they've been broken or worked. Not not like to make like work like a mason. They were broken up by somebody who was either digging or mining. Yeah. Great. <laughs> All right, this is more than we bargained for. We're not just looking for kids in a random natural cave. There's been ruins down here. There's been other people doing other things. Although, how um, long ago some of these things happened, it's hard to say. I mean, the, the, of course. An underground place like this is it's like a, a time capsule. Okay. Um, if it's well, just if I've a, got. It still could have been carved and, and, and set aside 5,000 years ago. It wouldn't look that much different. Yeah, um, it could be, yeah, Kuzdal time could be 10 or 15,000. Um, I'm going to sit quietly by myself in the, with the Twilight Scribe in the dark, and I'm going to do a ritual. Okay. And I'll just do Beast Friend, and I want Big Daddy Bat to come help me. Big Daddy, Big Daddy Bat. Daddy Bat. Yeah. All right. Tell me what that bat can do for you. Um. Well, it just comes to help me. Calls oh. a friendly animal within range, which is RSI miles. Um, <laughs> the animal may resist with a will times three check unless its true name is used in invocation, which I don't know any of their true names. I don't, um, I don't know how willful bats are. But okay. Right. Uh, the animal may approach close enough to be touched and will assist a shaman in distress if asked. Okay. His name is ask... Squeaky. Squeaky. <laughs> I will ask Squeaky the bat. Do you see the bat? Oh, right, yeah. I, I produced a bat for you. There's a bat right there. I do Percy. see him. Bruce, Bruce. Bruce. There's, a, there's a little bat. He's fluttering about. All right. Uh... And can you communicate with it, or does it? Can it just lead you someplace? Well, I it will. It says it can help a shaman in distress if asked. So I will ask it. Well, you don't. Are you distressed? Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm lost in a dark cave and I'm missing <laughs> children. <laughs> well, you gotta make a you gotta make a, a deception check. You know, um, deceiving this poor little bat. Well, I will just ask it. Hey. There's kids in your cave here somewhere. And um, the bat, you know, we want um, to find them. Gotcha. The bat flitters around in a circle and then flitters off in this direction. Did I hear which way it go? went? Because I did not see which way you poke it that way. Okay, let's go that way. I will just Hold on, crawl I my way to... that way. I, I, every, every possible detail in this place I did not entirely put. I'm just following the bat. That's all right. There's water. Yeah, last time we ran into water in the cave. Yeah, I'm having flashbacks. Yeah, let me scooch by you. Get some light. You guys, are you guys really that traumatized by your shoulders? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amateur. It's there's your first a, time there's a little bit of a, um, in this case, there's a little bit of a climb up. But it's only like five feet. So before you guys advance much further, there's like about a five foot climb right there. Yeah. Do you want to climb check? Climbing thing. Uh, it's I mean, kind of just a, again, it's kind of like a boost up thing. Like you just have to mantle up there and get over it. So, you know, the faithful words, um, as long as you don't roll me a critical failure, uh, you can get over it just fine. Can you say that? Marginal failure. Well, we got up there role. first. They can lend a hand. That's true. Marginal failure. Yeah, is I'll, I'll lend a hand or two. Try to keep an ear out for my little bat friend. Squeaky. Sorry, squeaky. Squeaky. This area is about a, a ten foot ceiling here. All right, everybody is up. Uh, 
happen in front bigger and a weirdness in general. Sure. Somewhere else. I'm gonna go with you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh god. Scream. Scream. Scurry, scurry, scurry. Scurry, scurry, scurry. Okay. Like a rat. Did the bat go this way as well? Oh, do you see the bat? No, I don't. Neither do I. Um, oh, the bat. There's the bat. Hey, Squeaky. There's Squeaky. Which, Squeaky's, Squeaky's okay. Do you know which way the human children are? Uh, the bat is, um, is a, little, a little troubled and, and moving around frantically. <laughs> Back and forth. There's something in here. It's, it's moving back and forth like it's trying to it's like it's trying to block you. And it, it flutters Can to I roll your face. Away? Flutter to your face. Flutter flutter to your face. It's rabbit killing. Just try to <laughs> have it perch in my left hand. From my left hand. Can I make an awareness check? Yes, you may. Okay, scurry, scurry. Thank something you. scurry. Yeah, I'm weirded out right now. Oh, I failed. I'll have my dagger out, but um, just keep an eye out for rodents of unusual size. I don't believe they exist. Um, hold on a second, sorry. You, you can see, can't you? Have fun. I mean, just from Zerson's light, just a little bit. I, I, just, I can't no. tell really. I see rocks and columns and things, but I can't really move up from my current position to give you more light. Less sort of aid moved. Oh, sure, I'll step up a little bit there. Oh, I see a rat over there now. You see, a lizard. It's not a lizard. lizard. It's not, it's not. Go, back. Go back to where it was. Moving through the cave um, with some speed. Are these small? They look like slightly furry-looking little. They look like they look like a little little tiny raptor, like a velociraptor. Like, oh they're, god! They're, they're, they're more the size of, of what they a raptor should actually look like. Um, are they friendly? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, they're very friendly in your chest. Yes. Oh, a little bit. God. Arm, my arm over red. my face, over my my elbow, and my nose into my elbow. You see, uh, you see, uh, He's I holding an eyeball. eyeball. Yes, that's what they do. <laughs> Everybody, do this. He's got, he has his, he has his, his, his face across his, his arm, the crook of his elbow across his face. He's just kind of barely like, like I'm sneezing into my elbow, only higher, so that my eyes are blocked by my arm. Maybe not completely blocked, but. Uh, otherwise, you're fighting in the dark. But so these creatures, they they kind of there's three of them, and they kind of come out, and when they when they move, they move in a very darting fashion, and they're they're kind of like hunkered down a little bit, sort of bobbing on their back legs. They've got like a big thick tail. They they're they're kind of bizarre. Do you do you wish to um, say what they are happen or Anything other than covering your eyes? These are Velasta type of Vashu. We probably right. came the wrong way. We can leave. Well, they let us leave. Well, Depends how hungry they are. Well, why do we have to cover our eyes? Happen? That's what. That's what they. Their favorite food. Is eyes. <laughs> oh, they will, leap at your, they will leap at your face and try to scratch out your eyeball. Okay, we gotta kill them. <laughs> or and we can we can pick violence. I mean, we did come into their home, but still. Um, they are. Um, they're 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 just kind of darting around. They have not. Um, Committed to any actions at this point? I mean, they're not. They know we're here. Everyone oh, retreat they're, they're, out. They're looking, they're looking at you. They're some chittering and as they look in your direction. Everyone retreat out to the 
the narrow part where we can have a better said, command of when coming at us. Yeah. I agree. And back up, guys. All right, let's do it. I'll go. Can't see though. back there. Yeah, they got dark back here. All right, is that, is that your position where you want to take straight? Yes. All right, the bat, um, the bat falls. Hanging, hanging out. so nice. Give it a little kids time. Really that way. <laughs> Give it a little time. See if they're going to scramble out after us, or if they're going to let us leave. They don't. Uh, they don't follow immediately. Okay. How long do you wait? Uh, about 15, 20 seconds, then we'll proceed on down the other passage, I guess. I'm, I'm going to look the, for tracks the other way. Okay. Just get lost. You want to see if this tracks? Oh, you going back to the large room? No, just in in this intersection. Like if there's kid tracks, you know. Oh. Um. Anywhere around here. Um. But there's no there's no tracks going that way. Oh, rats. Um. Tracks in here are probably a bit stomped on at this point. Are you guys coming through and then retreating? Yeah, but a, a couple of bare toes. You know, would be. Yeah, you can, you can come over there and make a check. Okay. Yeah. Certainly, human human feet are very distinct from anything else in here. Yeah. Sure. It's not in the bottom of your range, so you, you just you just see your tracks. It's it's just a muddle. All right. Um, have I seen any other flora or fauna in here besides the, the bats and the uh, velocities? Uh, probably some like cave crickets and stuff like that. Nothing. Okay. The bad indicator kind of gone this way. I mean, I think it's un I, mean, I think it's unlikely, or I don't know. Um, I, I admit I don't understand bad ease any better than the runes on the wall. <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> Oop, okay. Well. You know what? Do we have any jerky, chicken bones, hard tack, something like that? No. Uh, a muley. No, I think you pecked me. No, I guess not. If the likelihood, I mean, are we going to feel good about leaving without combing through the whole place? No, I, I guess I'm, we should just try to work our way past the bosses and stay away from yeah. them. They're not come hungry enough to come after us. Let's just go past them. We just have, how well can they see? They can't see very well, right? I mean, you are what you eat. They can see really well. Um, do we have sneak or stealth? Sure. If you're not. Yeah. If you're not in a head to toe male. Uh, I don't sneak very well. My steps are cheap. My stealth's 44. I mean, whatever uh, Devin wants us to roll to sneak by these things. I yeah, no, say I'm, we... trying, I'm trying to pull up their stats. I just don't, uh... We can sneak by them, and if they fight us, we just fight. And that'll be the end of that. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just having to tell them. Yeah. 
they, unless they don't for they any don't reason hard, unless they get you in somewhere yeah. really soft yeah if half like feels like we really should not engage with them now would be the time to speak up they're um I mean, what what is your only you had a, somebody had a love of Oshawa, right? <laughs> I mean, they're not like they're not horrible, but they're they're potentially dangerous, but they fall, they fall easily. They're right. easily we, felled. We, we can take them. I just don't want anybody to lose an eye over you. Yeah, I don't want to lose an eye either because I like to see. So we'll shoot your eye out, kid. All right, well, we should, um, we should tiptoe. Half it, give me a. Uh, you're going to try to tiptoe past them and, and dart from. These are a bunch of. Within this room, there are a bunch of columns. Mm -hmm. um, quite a few coming from. Here from the ceiling to the floor. Well, Nine columns spaced across. You know, and the, the ceiling's quite high here. Compared to other places, it's a good, good 11 feet high. Um, Hathen, can you can you sick animals on other animals? What, you're gonna do that to badge? Why would you do that? Well, well I mean, he's I helping us out. <laughs> I mean, one at a time. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Sneaky could go after one of the eyes. Oh, baddie. <laughs> he wants Squeaky, tear one of their eyes out. Go for the eyes, boo. So, um, uh, Squeaky is, uh, Squeaky you know how they is feel about it. Squeaky, Squeaky's not that helpful. No, um, they, they probably would eat Squeaky if they could get a hold of him. They, okay, fine. They, Keep they, Squeaky they probably, safe then. They've probably been eating Squeaky's kin for a while now. Yeah, yeah but I just imagine that. Kind of thing, it's about the kind of thing a Velasco would eat. Yeah, I just thought, you, you know, Squeaky's got sharp claws. Right, probably you could, know what? Um, you're, I'm just going to see you. Wait, you're hugging, you're hugging the wall. It's getting quite it's getting dark here in this room. Uh, so Aiden's kind of hanging back. Zeus is giving a little bit of light. So I like there's something on the ground. What's that? Is there something on the ground next to me that I can see, or is it just smudge on my screen? <laughs> something on my screen. You have, you have strayed into the, into the layer here. So you're oh. over here, and I was just. Okay. I was just um, just looking for a way out. To the no, I get you. I get you. Okay. All right. You're hugging the wall, looking for a way out. Uh, make, just make an awareness check as you go along, see if you come across it. Sure. Or track. Well, I guess I need light to track to some extent. Okay, that's pretty good. Words, uh, 13. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 13 on And Sir Aiden, are you where you are right now? I'm I'm right where I am right now. Make a go ahead, make a uh, make a stealth roll. You would have you have it in you. Yes. <coughs> Dun da da Oh ho, ho, ho. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. I, I did give it a, a fanfare before I started, so. <laughs> I, I did not have high expectations for you. And um, I was going to say, did you do? Grease your mail? <laughs> <laughs> I just need to give a fanfare every time I want to do something well. So, the quietest man alive. I was, I was hoping that he'd fail that, and as, as half had made his discovery, Creatures would uh, would would go after the, the lone Seraiden. The Seraiden is is kind of slinking behind the rocks. Um, I'll make you know. I'll, in all fairness to them, I will make a um, I'll make a, a perception check on them. And and I'll make a critical that. critical success that they will not survive. Otherwise, they will they do not. That's amazing. Um, Hafen, you, you sense that there's some airflow coming from that corner that you're in right there. There's something something about that corner that is is kind of odd. Um, 
Can I kind of step back and look up? Maybe the air is coming in down, or is it just a crack it's coming through? Your, your, your regular success level. There, you feel yes. like there's. Um, no, I'm stuck. No, you're stuck. Okay. The there's a. Um, you think this? There's. This is a concealed door of some sort. A secret door. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll. I'll... Like, it is very well crafted. Hmm. Likely of cruising manufacture. Uh, well, I'll share that. I, I, I think this is a door. <laughs> Can we look at this closer? Stay together. Do I have to roll? Oh, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. You're mostly good. Um, I mean, if, if you guys make too much noise, you might attract the creatures. So you need to be somewhat careful about that kind of figure. I'm okay. totally yeah, careful. This, there's a, there's a, you see. Just looking a bit more carefully, Hannah, there's there's some some weathered. It's not very greened. It kind of blends in with the kind of green mossy stone that's down here. There's some green bronze, barely discernible as an outline, and it is all faced with natural stone that has been attached to it. There's there's definitely a secret door. Well, I'll try pushing. <laughs> I'll see if there's anywhere to pull. <laughs> um, or, or, you know, see if it slides one way or the other. Other than a push, I can't imagine how it would work. I don't no, know. Still Survival? I, I feel like... Oh, I don't know. Oh, did you try to figure out how to open it? Yeah. Um, probably, a, it's probably a, a, a dexterity thing. Because you're just you're trying to like puzzle it out a little yeah. bit, so you're sure. just dex times three or four. Or... Yeah, d dex times dex times four sounds good. Sure. Well. All right. You something something moves a little. Nothing moves. You, you, have, to, you have to kind of you have to kind of like lift it up an inch and then pull it forward and then it then it then it pivots. You have to kind oh. of like clear it off a track and it, and it pivots. Uh, do you choose to open it? Hey, look, there's yes, I'll there. open it, but I, I won't go through it. mine. If you're moving over there, you're moving close to the little scurry critters. I, I know. I was gonna. Well, I was gonna open it. That's let a lot of damn snow. Snow. this light through and guard with my dagger is the movement All right. idea. But yeah, I gotta open it first. Doors. Open the door. The door is open. You see, Zerson, you can barely see. Just past it, um, a, a chamber of some sort, stone walled. It's the first kind of worked, cut stone that you've seen since you've been in here. I will move forward. Ah! Ah! There's a thing. Is there, is there a scary thing. Ah. <laughs> a thing. Oh, there is a. There is a thing. Is there what a thing? thing? Roll me initiative, please. Mm -hmm. Yes, my master. Uh, your mission is better, so you may um, you may do you, you may act first, whatever actions you choose to act. The rooms have a stench of, of decay, and there is a what looks like a walking corpse. Kill it with fire. That's more gath, right? I mean, it's not literally fire. Oh, you know what I mean? They, uh, they're associated with fire. They are associated with fire. Walking corpses have that association. I scream, and speak of the living dead, and try and I drop the stone there so they can see, and I move back behind armored people. So stone is there. All right, stone is there. For temporary purposes, I will stand there just to keep the light, so you don't have to fill around too much. Um, I can, I can, I can copy you. 
I'm ready. Let's do this. And then, hold on, let's do the other one. And then, shrink you very small. Itsy bitsy living space. There. It's now, it's now, no, cool. you move that one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, baby Zerthin. Little baby Zerthin. Oh my god, that's amazing. Alright. Alright, stone is dropped there. Uh. There's, oh. and you can finally do that meme where never talk to me or my son again. <laughs> okay, so the stone represented by mini mini Zerson is right there. <laughs> um, all right, so let's have you do a roll off because you're in front, Bridget, with initiative, okay. please. Gotcha. Um, okay, I think I remember how you want it done because I know there's two Beast ways. Beast of to do death it. within. Roll me an initiative check. Oh, yep. oh dear. Well, this thing comes shambling out. Five forty-three, right above the stone. Uh, the I don't care. The light now partially Champ obscured by its feet and its presence, and it comes into the room and bludgeons you. What is your Ooh. method of, of defending, please? Uh. Shield. Shield. Do what you do best, right? Yeah, let me go ahead. I didn't want this good of a look at the thing. <laughs> I haven't got a good initiative. Let me find my shield. There it is. Jimmy John's next to the hospital. Yeah, I used mine to get out of the way. Right. Well, um, marginal because of COVID. Marginal, so you have a tactical advantage. You can, you can swing at it. Okay, I'm block, just going to... Um, give it an opening and swing Yeah. Down. Yeah, I'm gonna just you want cut at it pizza? like a Zorn. Hack. Do you yeah, want to hack? Targeting any place or just like first available? Oh, uh, I'm going for the neck. Well, Eat I some mean, treats. I'll, I'll go we for the torso. Oh, high, 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 medium, low. I'm gonna go you want medium. Okay. You, get you, what you want? Get them, so. go ahead. Yeah. Chinese. All right. You will hit. Do you want go pho? The, go through the damage thing. Okay. You want fish? Oh wait, it's uh, it, it is basically ignoring your attacks. It's not even dodging. So Do you it's, want? Its defense is ignored. So you rolled an arsenal. Italian. As an M2. Not M2. Okay. You okay. want steak? A, A3. It's it's a lot. It, it's not even trying to really fight back. You want it's curry? Just, actually, I, I'm gonna say it's just counter strike. Can I strike a DTA? Yeah. Guys, you can? All right. So it yeah. it just it just keeps attacking. It doesn't even it's not even trying to defend know. itself. It just, Why is your face on fire? Okay. So, but do you need to roll any damage dice? You will. Yeah. So it's it's gonna miss okay. you. Uh, let me check this. So, so two two attack dice. So marginal success on the attacker. That's gonna be you. two dice. It's going to be her, yeah, her penetration plus two dice. Two dice. Yeah. So roll damage, please. Which one? A D4? No, it's damage die roll. Damage yeah, roll click on your top. character and then click damage. So okay. Da and then, oh, I see. And then it's going to be two dice. Medium. What? Two for weapon impact value? No, the weapon impact value is whatever you're using. If you're using a broadsword, it's probably five edge. Five. Usually five. But didn't you get yours magically enhanced? Or is that someone else's? I don't know if we ever got to do that. No, no we, we didn't have time. We need to do that's got to. Yeah, I don't know if we got to do that. And then I'm using edge. Big hit, though. Yeah, that's great. Rolled on 11. Left five knee. Plus 11, total 16. Yeah, me. Yeah, sixteen to the knee, left knee. Um, all right. Um, it, it you, you take the leg out, like right, like leg is like a, a it's cut, chopped off at the knee. It, it, it's, Does it make a gross sound? 
it does, it doesn't bleed really. Like black, disgusting blood comes out. Mm. It, it, it just it drops to the ground on its hands and knees, but it doesn't really seem to care much. It just it just keeps pressing forward, and and continues clawing at you. Mm. And Claire, yeah, I should, I should ask your defense first. What's your defense? Uh, to come at, to claw at me? Yes. Um, I was gonna kick it in the face. Um, only right. one, only one tactical advantage for. That's a new round. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Right on. Uh, you're gonna counter strike it by kicking it. Go ahead. Okay, let me find my kicking. You guys get kicking, right? It's unarmed. unarmed. It's not your character sheet. Yeah. It should be in your combat profile. Yeah. But it's very unlikely to kick. Huh? You carried melee weapons, you should have punch and kick like automatic, I think. They're automatically, they're not, they're automatically in there. I'm trying to find it. Hold on. One blood. Oh, just unarmed. Got it. Oh, it's down toward the bottom, the carried melee weapons. So you use those attacks. So it puts all the modifiers in there. Right? Critical fail. Attacker. Uh, Marshall says it it's going to be one D2. day. So it's just um, D2. So for kicking in the head, would you say, even though he's on the ground, would you say that's still high or? or... Yeah, so if you're kicking the head, it's still a high. It's still a high attack. Okay. And then it's zero weapon impact value because it's just my foot. Yeah, but it's a D2. So yeah, it's, you get two dice. Yeah, two dice. Yeah. Six got blunt one. And then, yeah, it has to be blunt, because it's my foot. Yeah, it is your foot. All right, eight points blunt. To the chest. In the chest. All right. You're trying to hit him in the head, but caught him. Like, like how did that happen? Him. Caught him in the Reaching up, trying to, scar uh, trying to catch you. So, trying to yeah, but it does have a one for a blunt, for a kick. Yeah. So that's a nine. Right, so it's right. a nine. Nine, nine points. All right, so we got we to do some additional stuff. First one did to 16 to the knee. And that is another. All right. I mean, it's it's like it doesn't feel pain. It's just. Um, right. You, you know that if you hit a real a man with that, or a woman with that, um, you would have like sent them reeling. It would have um, uh, really bruised them or hurt them. Uh, broke a couple ribs. Doesn't care. Still, still coming at you. Um, that was your counterattack. Uh, uh, Hafen, did you have something? Were you working on this somehow? What was your What was your strategy? Uh, sure. I mean, I'll I'll try to stab it with my dagger. Just stab okay. it in the head. Stab it in the head. Uh, I'll, let you, I'll let you go ahead and get your attack in there. Ugh, that's the wrong button. Uh, I didn't. I didn't ask me about going high. Anyway. Okay. Uh, it will try to uh, to bite your hand as you uh, as you stab. Uh. And it will fail. So um, you. So he counterstruck, attacker got a more success, that's a margin failure. That is a A two. A two. So uh, it just ah you stick it into dead flesh and it I mean it certainly doesn't flinch or can't flinch for that matter. It just it just doesn't it doesn't I mean at least when you hack it with, in the leg with a sword, and you take its leg off, and now it's crawling. So that's that's a bonus. But aha, you say, and you stab it and hit him square in the neck, and you think that will take care of it, and pull it out, and like a little bit of like black blood oozes out, and it's it's still just pressing forward. It is Bridget's turn, though. Okay, um, I'm gonna try to decapitate it. All right, so aim high. You're just doing the best you can. Yeah, because it's not going to stop. So, let me... I mean, if it's just not going to stop, I need to take the head off. So, aim as and you, hide. As you move backwards, happen, the, the, 
scurry creatures. What? To kind of yeah. your direction. I uh, will. Uh, come on. <laughs> I'm going to impose myself between half of the scurry creatures. I'm going to order. Fall no, I'd rather, Aiden, I'd rather have you up there. Right. <laughs> Making room for you. Fried rice. So I'll give you oh, fried rice. Right. Um, a, so, uh, eight, so two dice Everything. plus your edge aspect on a thing. Aim in high. Aim in high. I assume it can't take a tactical advantage on, or a tactical attack on me because it's prone, basically. You said 2d6? Yes, 2d6. With that. Okay. Because it can strike. All right, you gouge deeply into its chest, thorax, um, probably like beginning to sever things that make muscles work. <laughs> you know, breaking clavicles and severing half rotten tendons. Um, it, it seems like one of its arms is beginning to get to give out, and it's less able to move, but it's still sort of flopping towards you, clawing with, with one arm. Okay, we gotta and, take this thing out. And it's gonna claw you again. What's your... What's your what is yeah, your it, it... More. Keep it. Keep bashing it. What's your defense? Uh, the defense I'm gonna use is, again, to... If it comes at me, I'm gonna kick it in the face. Kick it in the face. Got it. Got there. Alright. Counter-strike. Critical uh, more success. So give me a counter-strike. Gotcha. It's aiming low. Aiming low. Oh, well, that's gonna that's gonna hit you. No. Yeah, for two dice. Why are you unarming? Because she. Wants oh, because I'm punching it. it. You have a sword. <laughs> well, I thought it was going for my leg, so. Right? It is going for my yeah, but it doesn't matter what it's going for. You use your best weapon. Fair. It's cinematic, you know? I like to do stuff. She's not trying to ride this one. Yeah, it's going to be. Hey, Aiden. It's going to be save versus. Do you remember that? It's going to be making. Yeah, it's going to be making a save versus zombieism. In the Resident Evil games, there's a lot of stomping action, so I'm just kind of vicarious stepping on it. <laughs> Say again. <laughs> no, we're gonna need to buy you some big iron boots. Right here. <laughs> Eight points of cutting damage. You probably have enough to cover that. I'm not sure what you're wearing for armor. Where, where did it hit, it hit me in my hip? Right, on the right hip. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm good. Let me check. What what number do I need to beat? Eight or better. Okay. Let me find my gamma thing. I never know where anything is on this Brian, sheet. Are you are you positioned where you are right now? Yes, I I half have moved out. I will move up. All right, half are you? What are you watching primarily? Are you watching those two things over there? Yeah, uh, I'll I'll watch the shadows for any. Creepy leaper lizard. How much can you see? Not a lot. I can see the couple spaces in front of me. Okay. Uh, my hip is covered by my male end quilt, but I think I'm just wearing. What, what, do, you what do you currently have it set at? Um, what's that? I can look at your shade, so. Yeah. Currently covered by my edge is an eight on my hip. Your hip is a gambeson and a male hauberk. No, wait, which one do you have equipped? You do not have the male equipped. I think it's just the gambeson. It's just the gambeson. But that's um, it's is it the WGT number, the eighteen number? So is hip. It is edge impact is six. So two points get through. Okay. So you take a moderate, moderate wound. M1. To the hip. To my, to my right hip. To your right my hip. right hip. So I type in right hip. 
gonna have to disinfect that. She likes to get hit yeah. on uh, they, are not, they are not true no more. Uh, I, I was, I was. So they're yeah, amorphous. She keeps getting no, damaged. No, 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 no. Hips. Not saw off her horse, damaged her hip. Now she got slashed by a zombie and got there's, hit. There's the lesser things that are, are basically servants. Yeah. Of, oh. Okay. So I just right right hip Bad and then um, severe severity is M two. M one. M one. Okay. Yep. So it's a minor, a minor break to the to the hip. But can someone kill this thing, please? You guys are working on it. They're, they gotta basically hack it to death. Yeah. I thought that it's, was the it's, knight's job. It's it's down to it's down to only like a couple moving. Well, it's it's these are working okay. So it's still crawling at you. Uh, that was its turn. Your I start your turn. biting. Sir Aiden, I think you're you're looking at who at the, the boys the hot dogs. Things, which is good because they're one of them comes springing towards you. Just, just oh, love guy. Just for fun. All right. Uh, <laughs> It will be flying like shrimp toast. You're looking at the ground with the wrong place to look because it is literally, um, it is literally like flying through the air, like at head level, coming straight at you. How how do you wish to defend yourself? Me or Aiden? Right. Headbutt. I use the, the shield. Headbutt. Throw the shield up. <laughs> Throwing the shield up is a, is a good call. That works very well. Uh, did I? Did I? Ted, Ted might be around by now, though. Or I Emerus. Squeaky sure. help at all. Can Squeaky sure help with anything? Yeah, uh, he's just panicked. You can see in the dark. <laughs> that's his special power. Oh, man. He's a bat. He, like, weighs two ounces. What is he going to do? Pretend Moral to be your ear Did he like make a little so sonar sound or something to boost our power? <laughs> it's a mundane brown bat. It's squeaky. You know, I think part oh, right. of your guys' problem is how you guys treat the NPC animals in this realm. You want to throw them into the battle. Approach. What? You want to throw them into the battle. Because right. he's one of us. Oh. oh, come on. Oh, wait, I didn't do the minus 10. But it still would have been a sort of hit. Same, though. yeah. It's the same result. Same result. Would have been 80, though. Would have been 80 even on an 80. Uh, please give me a shield roll as you try. Because at the yeah. last second, you see it in the gloom. Like, you look at the ground, like, where are they? And it's like coming at head level, just wah, straight at you. It's flying through the air like it, it leapt. It's literally yeah, leaping through the air. I did a success on the shield. I did, did the success. shield when I announced it, and it was a success. Okay, I see it now. I'm sorry. I see it now. No um, it's a large success, A1. Now, I don't do like it automatically goes to the eyes and, and does that. I think it's just a little, a little, a little, a little, a little, a little bit much. A little bit much. Thank you. So it is going high, though. If it hits in the eyes, it will, it, it will, hits in the face, it, it has a, that's why I prefer with the chance of, of it taking an eye out. It is, it is a, uh, and two. Six. Oh no, M1, I'm sorry, in your chart. Okay, so it, it did not hit in the face. It hits you in the shoulder for eight. What, 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 what are you wearing for armor on your shoulder? Shoulder. Uh, I've got blunts or, or edge edge. or piercing. Shoulder, I've got three. You've got more. I'm um, got the mantle that pulled it off. I mean, look, you've got a mail and quilt on your shoulder. Yeah. That... No, you got something wrong. Because you. Oh, okay, you don't have mail and quilt. Uh, let me look here. I, this is written down. Um, you are wearing quilt gamazon. Is quilt gamazon only, only three on the edge? I guess it is. Hold what on. are you? What are you knights doing? They thought they're just rescuing kids. Come on, give them a break. <laughs> You've been in caves before. You know what kind of crap is yeah, in you're here. Yeah, you're right. Three. That's a, that's five, <laughs> five points gets through. 
I this am, is a bad time to mention Sir Mailed is expecting us for dinner. <laughs> I am <laughs> wearing more armor than either of you. <laughs> You have a serious wound to the shoulder. Oh my S2, god! As, he, as this thing comes, comes clawing at you and then and then drops to the ground. So it is your turn to deal with this thing, and then we'll come back to that dealing with the other thing. So, Too many things. There's a lot of things going on. So let me do my attack. Yes, please. It will be dodging. Look cool. <laughs> And pretty well, by the way. It's good to let you know right now in advance. And you are attacking. You play a room, so you can swing your sword. Reckless abandon here. I don't like when you say that's that to him. I'm standing next to him. <laughs> All right, that's what you need, Serene. You need to, you need the big numbers there, my friend. Critical success against a marginal success dodge is an A1. So roll me some damage. Roll a, don't roll high low, just a little center, because it's too it's too small to target anything specifically. It's just it is a it's about two feet tall. It's, it's not chicken. big. It's like the size of a yeah, it's like the size of a chicken. A very, very dangerous chicken. So roll me some damage, please. Yeah, so the modifier is five. What's that? So, so it's still come after you yeah, doesn't that on. Grab from them. I like it, just like a chicken. So we have oh, to order from Joel. Sorry, that's not the damage. I could, I could do it real quick. I. That's the damage. Location medium, submit. Five is the impact value, I believe. One, two, six, submit. Edge, submit. Bam. That whole time. Eight points at its little el at its little elbow. They have very little armor, uh, effectively none. And their their stamina and those kinds of things are also pretty low. So you you hit it and do seven points of damage. Seven seven gets through against its, its minimal armor, and you hit it like you take one you take one of his little claws off, basically, or, or disable it pretty severely. And that's how it's attacking. It's attacking with its claws. Um, okay, back to back to zombie. Mm. Uh, I believe it is. Whose turn was it last there? Did it go or you go? Turn. I do want to take an action when it rolls around to me. Uh, you can take that because you've cast it back. Yeah, I just want to cast a spell just in case this goes tits up. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Barl's cloak. Okay. How long does that last? Uh, minutes. Okay. You are. You are. I am successful. I now effectively have played armor. Right here's oh. Joe Watt. Mikans doesn't deliver, and they don't have um, armor. They don't look so healthy. Something's wrong with theirs. <laughs> yes. They do. My calf, man. I got to massage this out later. <laughs> oh, you mean this gray overtone on me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of this irony hue color to you. All right. Alright, so let's go back to Zombie Land. Uh, I would zombie, try to better than one thing to yourself. Zombie's only attacking with one arm. It's crawling reasonably well, but it's, it's definitely it's, it's taking some shots here. Uh, but I believe it is Bridget's turn. Because she took the damage from the counter strike. So it is her turn to go. I would like to try to decapitate its head again. So, broadsword aiming high. It will be, it will be clawing back. Because of course. Why not? All right. That's uh, both A1s. So I, I get to roll damage? Yeah, both yeah, of you so, do one dice. Yep. So, so, okay. So he. Well, he's not cool like me. Also, I don't want to assume this zombie's gender. Claws at your right knee for six. What do you have on your right knee? Um, I oh god, I think I just went really light down here. But I'll check. I don't know if my gamut thing goes all the way down that already. It usually goes a thigh. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure I don't have anything 
found mm-hmm. the weak spot. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to open up. I can turn. I can turn. Your B has three. Okay. So three gets through. That's it an M one. Moderate wound to the knee, but that apparently here. was about as much as it took to finally make it not be a, a moving thing anymore. She okay. will still need to make a fumble, a stumble check. Okay. Make a stumble but um, check. is that a one? That's a just it's on your sheet. It's a stumble check. So yeah, it's... add your M one first. Yeah, M one. Yeah, the, uh, I put shot. right knee, M one. And then do a fumble. Stumble. stumble. Oh, stumble. Oh. Sorry, stumble. Fumble. <laughs> Not fumble. Okay. She's right. up. Yeah. You end up rolling the same thing twice, which is good. Um, you do not good because you don't want to. You don't want to fall face first in front of a zombie that, while it isn't, I, I'm using the term zombie kind of in quotes, it isn't really capable of effective movement. But if you did fall. Like next to its face, it will continue to bite at you. But its mm-hmm. ability to move effectively is pretty much over. So back to back to this one. Um, half in, one comes leaping at you. How do you defend? Counter strike. Counter strike. Aren't you brave? Marginal failure. Critical success. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, defender, counter strike. D2. Two D2. dice. D2 with a pierce. Hey, I'll use edge, actually. Um, Cut it. Swing it. Swing, swing it a hit. <clears throat> That's right. It's a little. Uh, yeah. All right, you, um, wow, it's 10 points. Oof. I have that's no quite idea. a bit for these little critters. They, um, that's all they really want. I got crab so burgers, they, what they, else you want? <laughs> they they go scurry back to their little lair or whatever place they've got. Yeah. So there's, there's a snappy but largely immobile creature in front of you. I still want to put my dagger through its head. <laughs> I, it, it really isn't. It, it isn't like super capable of movement. If you like, if you, I mean, it isn't. It isn't able to really launch attacks. But if you got close, it'll bite you. Let's let's just let's just freeze it that way. Decapitate it. You can keep hacking yeah, at it until it stops. I mean, it, yes, it's, we're gonna hit it until it stops. <laughs> okay, a dagger. It'll probably try to bite you. Anything else, if you keep some distance away and just and just swing at it. I mean, it, let's just kind of present the scene for what it is. It is like, it, it is black ichor and smelly stuff flying everywhere as, okay. you, as you hack it into pieces until it finally stops being a thing that moves. Is there someone who's to pick up Little Zierson now? Okay. Who's going to pick up Little Zierson? I'll, I'll go get him. Uh, would you like me to just put them aside and just yeah, put them aside and give me my lightsaber so I didn't have it on me again? We'll use that in the future should it be needed. Uh, oh, I don't think I don't think I picked your lightsaber away. Okay, there you go. Uh, looking in, so you see a little ten there. foot by ten foot room. Uh, it looks of relatively ancient construction. It has a, um, there's some wood, still some wooden supports that are, are holding it up, but they're beginning to look quite worm, well, I'm not sure if worms get down here. They're looking quite dried out and a bit, a bit desiccated, but it is a small, a small chamber with a, a fairly nice looking steel door uh, leading off to the east. And there's just the thing in here. There's nothing else other than the door. There's nothing else other than the door. 
No remnants of kids' clothing or bones. Yeah, I kind of don't think they made it past the zombie. I, I would think the zombie ate it. Are we really going to ignore a room with a zombie? Well, what? what? <laughs> I mean, no, but it's not the right way for the kids. Right? Chicken. I wouldn't think so. Unless there's another way in that we didn't go, and this is like a back way. Super sneaky kids. I mean, who knows if this? You sure? If there's, there's a steel door in, here. in the dark, right? So this continues on to something. Yeah. That old Gorgon layer, or whatever co coos layer. Uh, I mean, does the door have a handle? Um, yeah. It, it opens towards you. What the boys? Why don't we worry? Does it look like the kids came through here? No. Because the zombie would have killed them. Let's find the kids or any remnants of them first. This is interesting. We should come back. Yes. Any uh, special markings on the door? Just bland steel door. It's not very bland. It, all of this stuff, um, especially users, I mean, you, you've been around, you've had a dwarven master for this is all like a gazillion year old dwarven construction. This is all I mean this is this is probably somewhat intriguing to you. There's there was some dwarven mining things going on. So what what things you might yeah. be able to find here if they left anything behind is, is of some interest to you. Some lots. Lots, lots and lots of interest. Yes, lots and lots of interest, perhaps. I mean, I have the light source, right? You do. <laughs> you do. You can't go far with that. Did the children really take precedence over this? Yes. 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 The if it hasn't just... changed in five thousand years, it won't yeah. change in the next two days. That was what I was say. If it hasn't moved in five thousand years, then you know it'll be here again in a couple of days. Well, you can make a roll. I mean, well, you... we did open this door. The evils could come out. We should. We should maybe check ahead. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, ten minutes. Won't change the kid's fate. It'll change how much armor that Zerson has. Yes, yes, it will. <laughs> All right, lead the way, Zerson. You're the most most protected at this point. I work on this door. <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna stand back just in case of lightning bolts. <laughs> <laughs> lightning bolt. All right. Oh Zerson. lord! I found the children. <laughs> <laughs> that does not. <laughs> you did find I the children. There, there's a child tied up right there in the corner. But you probably are a bit more distracted by the yet another zombie looking thing. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> well, or Kellen, or whatever God that keeps forsaking me in this game. It's, it's Lorani, thank you very much. Lorani, yeah. yeah. Well, I would be sword representative. You should convert. That's <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, so awesome over here. I'm just putting myself in front of the door, that's all. Okay. There is a there is another zombie thing. There is a child in the corner here. He is bound and gagged. You want steamed oh. rice with that? Uh, that seems a couple more minutes could have mattered. <laughs> there is a You got me, man. You got me. <laughs> there is a doorway that you can barely see to the south. Your angle isn't very good, but there's a there's a light coming from that room. Uh, make me an awareness check. Marginal success. I rolled a one though. They rolled a one though. There is okay. a. There, there's also a because there's a long shadow being cast from the doorway of another humanoid form. So, imagine oh, more than one. Though. So if the person, let's say the thing is backlit, so the shadow is is like in the doorway. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, I got that zombie out of the way. To the best of the view, is it, is it just a bland form, or does it seem to be a shambling, deathly form? Um, it is a shadow. I'm not going to give you that much. Okay, I just, I, yeah, just the general movement. If it was like, uh, make a uh, make a make a neutral check. Marginal failure. Marginal failure. Okay. Anybody else? Do you want everybody? Or. Uh, Critical failure. You go first. 
<laughs> I want to go. You may, you may react to Brit as your, your success level is higher. So. Uh, Zerson feels slightly brave with the people behind me, but he doesn't want to one on one this. He's going to be overly brave and step forward here. Oh, if, if I can I squeeze by. Right. And everyone else rolls initiative to move into that square. Um, and he was hoping it was going to be another sampler, and now he's even more scared. <laughs> Four decisions were made. Do you, do you, okay, so do you wish to, you move that square? Do you, do you also wish to attack? That was the plan. I'm mean, obviously right. I see something else, but I, I'll, I'll follow through with the plan. Okay, follow through the plan. It will be counter striking because that's what they do. They're just undead things. Uh, Wait, how come Bridget gets to move? Wait, I'm, I I'm, I'm still doing. I'm still doing. Um, seriously, he's kind of alone in this moment right now. Yes. Marginal failure. Marginal failure. And right. the short sword. Okay, nice. Uh, it will. Uh, it will try to claw you as you strike it in. Because they don't do much more than that. All right, that's a bullet. That's a B one, I believe, or both miss. Which one is it? Counter strike. Counter strike. And marginal failure. Marginal failure. They okay, bind her away because I thought we were. Done fighting. <laughs> it's a block. They just block each other. They block each other. You, your, your strikes meet in the middle. <laughs> wrist to wrist. Goes nowhere. Don't cross the streams. Wow. Okay. <laughs> We're going to bring up the initiative table because it's now, it's now getting very complicated. <laughs> uh, roll initiative for the guy down there. Do we all need to check initiative or something? Yeah, we'll just bring up the, we'll just, we'll just do a, just roll for, just a roll combat initiative. I'll just keep the order that your, your characters have. Just keep, keep it kind of interesting. Hold on. That's not right. There's another command to get us into initiative. You just roll it. There is the, there is the combat initiative. Oh. We should go there. So I should re-roll. Here we go. Yeah, I just just for that round, I was gonna let you guys just. It, yeah, it's in your it's combat little, profile. It's a little easier to do with small oh, groups. Oh. Right. It's easier to do with small groups. With a big group, it's just rearranging everything. It's just a, I, I like rolling for initiative, but it doesn't always work. Man, I like my system, but in this context, it's to try to put it all in order is a little bit complicated. For what is worth, Raiden, you you are up. You can see. I can push past the allies. You can. <laughs> Five foot hex is pretty big. It is. And if you, you... Can through, uh, he's right there. There's a, there's a big. There's another stinky, rotting corpse zombie. So, according to my blackness, I don't actually see any. Oh, am I like in the wall? I mean, I'm, I see uh, the light. Sure. I just. You might be stuck in the closed door. I, when I hit yeah. control, I can see you. So can I move to here then? Um, no. No. You move to there. Once you're in contact with an enemy, you can move. You can move one hex along its. You can move one space along its hex. Okay. Well, then I'd have to move into. You're uh, kind of where you are. Square. Can't do that. You can. Stay, you can move there and engage it. Yeah, I can shift around next. At the my so turn, you can move to shift around next turn. But you got. You got to stay where you are. Okay, well, he, I think it's just visually he can't see because the wall or the rock or the door or something. Okay, so just just roll with it. What is that? All right. So, start my attack. Can you see now? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the wall that I can't see past. So my size is not making that much of a difference. Maybe refresh if it didn't refresh your size. Because yeah, when you drop uh, the door, I can see. There's no one here. The spot, but there is a zombie right in front of you. Is anybody out there making yes. something? It's just one, though, right? Just I one. Just one. Just one. Uh, it, uh, you attack the broadsword, and it will kill No, I smell does. something, too. Yeah. It'll go rah, 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 right back. Are you <laughs> Alright. That will be a, a hit. It probably is not 
not going to. You're, you're going to do probably more damage than it. So it will. So both hit. All right. So damage. Medium. It's a six. What is one die? Ah. And I'm only one die six as well. Correct. With five points of right upper arm, nine points of damage, all that goes through. Um, and it largely incapacitates that arm, so it's really only clawing with one arm now. Um, you, however, take seven points of damage to your abdomen. Wow, that sounds like that hurts. As edge, as edge aspect to that location. Uh, I take two. As a minor one. Yeah, minor one. But they begin to, they, but they start to add up. That's for sure. And and it will be a fumble check. Was a fumble check? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Make me a fumble check, please. And are you? How many wounds have you taken, sir? I took one before, but I didn't write it down, so I have no idea. Oh, one. Okay. It was do that, it minor was wound. Ooh, like, okay, but well, that goes it goes your math. So I'm not worried about the location too much. It's on your shoulder or whatever. I don't care where it is. But it does that? It does start to add to the math. So we got to make sure we have that minor. I just added an extra minor wound. I'll say shoulder. It was your shoulder. I think it's your right shoulder. Okay, so because does that add up to minus ten? Where is my fumble? Fatigue encumbrance. It's below your injuries. It'll say shock, stumble, fumble. I don't see the injuries on there, man. Do you have them on there? Uh, All right, let's go ahead and add them. I'll add it real quick. There, I, Shoulder. I think I've got two injuries on my sheet. I don't, I don't, I'm not seeing them. Yeah, he might All need right, to well. refresh. He might be at a sink or something. How do I... How do you force a refresh? F5 if you're using a standard explorer. Or shift F5. Or control shift F5. I mean, I'll take these off, but I, I did add them to your sheet, so you've got a physical penalty for more now. Alright, well it is, it is actually refreshing my sheet, because I see a die 20 playing with the uh, rolling. Yep. And when it's done, Right. So under right, we'll the the cost level. Here we go. There. Okay. That means you you drop your sword, I figure, because your because your shield is strapped on. So you, you drop your sword during the during the, the melee. Does that give him a DTA if he fails a, a fumble? Does that give the that give the zombie a DTA? Marcus? Say again? Does him failing a fumble check give the zombie yes. a It does. Okay. Um, Mr. Aiden, are you going to block it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I figure you are. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm just, it, so. just fighting me right now. Hang on. You block it. Um, let's go ahead and, and leave it there then, because Lady Bridget has places to go. Do you? So it's about to get quite hectic. So yeah, you can describe that next session. Yeah, I can describe it next session. How, how exactly hectic is it going to get? But you see in the doorways there, so to your south, a black robed ugly looking man kind of funny ugly looking you've heard that description before 
and he is holding in his right hand a dagger. As you can see, I found a very good token for it. Oh, is it Emrys? Uh, Emrys of Torb? It's, yeah, Emrys. You found Emrys. The dagger is is especially kind of gruesome looking. Um, it has a, a blackened black blade, and it looks like the handle is made from, well, you know, Bill, uh, it looks like it's made from a, 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 human, <laughs> humor, a, a human humorous. Uh, it's what it's, it looks like it's made from. <laughs> we, we have a friend who has a dagger that he, um, he replaced the conventional handle with a, an actual human bone because, well, because it's Bill, and we, we love him for it. So, you can deal with him and whatever that does next time.